Hey everyone, how's it going? So when I get a damaged power jet converter from a customer on occasion, I'll see usually physical damage. You can see here, this inverter was dropped. They admitted to dropping it, getting it out of the box, which I can understand because sometimes the inverters, um, you know, they're so heavy you don't expect it's going to fall out of the box, but it does. I typically take the inverter and I tip it upside down carefully and then lift the box up. That's how I do it. But some people just just literally just tip them on their side and bam. But he ended up dropping it um, on a toolbox, which you can see where the impact was. And dropping it on the toolbox made it, of course, bounce. And then it fell on the other end, damaged that, et cetera, et cetera. Well... You know, all right, so it was his fault, whatever, I get it. And he knew to open it up to inspect it to find out if there was any damage on the inside. Initially, there was no damage. There was a couple of things that had come loose, such as the speaker connection up here up front. And then, obviously, some of these wires came loose. Well, not knowing or not learning or educating himself on where these cables go this cable actually came disconnected this cable did came disconnected but instead of actually looking at pictures or seeking help from powerjack they decided to try to repair it themselves unfortunately this wire here was connected to this wire at the same time now this is the positive and the negative that is coming from the transformer so essentially what he did is he shorted out the transformer. Now, doing so, shorting that out, sent a surge throughout the entire setup. Because this charger board right here actually energizes this board here when it's powered on. Because you got the energy from the transformer that will energize all this. Otherwise, it stays in standby mode. None of this is energized, and the only energy that's coming to this board is through this ribbon cable. It's a 12-volt low energy, just enough to sense when the power switch is actually being used. You've got the power switch activation, which is right here, and that then tells the CPU it's time to power on. That sends the signal back to the main board which the main board then will energize the mosfets which will then energize the transformer and then it's all powered up it's ready to go however when you short something out like that and you take out the board itself here it will cause all sorts of problems because it ended up surging through this cable here which destroyed the mosfets you can see that they are completely blown up and I don't know yet if this transformer is still good because it was shorted out. Um, again, I'm not really sure. I'll have to look. But this is just an example of why you don't try to repair something without knowing what's wrong with it first and how to repair it. In fact, he could have honestly just sent an email to Powerjack and said it was damaged in shipping. I'm not condoning that, but I'm just saying it would have probably been easier to do that and they would have sent him another one but so anyway uh it's it is what it is this is gonna this is basically a parts inverter now the superficial damage can be repaired but there's too much of a risk that this main board is toast because of the 110 volts basically that was sent through this whole thing because this is an 8 volt output on this particular inverter. Actually, it's 18 volts. But this converts the 24 volts from the battery bank to 18 volts AC that is sent to the transformer. So, uh, you know, it's getting 110 volts going through this thing. It's going to fry everything because of the back feed going through all of this. Uh, so anyway, this inverter is pretty much toast. I'm going to try to save the transformer. Of course, there's other little parts that I can probably save. I think the fan ended up getting damaged because it fell on its opposite side. We'll have to see. 
But anyway, just a um, kind of a, a lesson to be learned. If the inverter becomes damaged and something like this becomes disconnected because it was dropped, make sure you're putting it back where it's supposed to go because all he did was turn this into a paperweight, sadly. And the only thing I'm probably going to be able to salvage out of this is this transformer. The rest of it is pretty much junk. So that was all. I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So, uh, yeah. Uh, of course, I should add, if anyone has any problems with their power jack inverters, you can always contact me and ask me. I can walk you through how to inspect these for damage, how to possibly even repair them, and I can get you the parts that you need to repair them. So if you open it up and you see this damage here where the moss boards are damaged like that, then check the rest of the inverter to see what other damage there might be. Look for burn marks. In this particular case, you can see that the low frequency driver here was all burned up because it overloaded. It, it, this thing, this driver here is a 12 volt driver. So having 110 volts rushing through this all at once of course it's going to burn this up. Now, I don't know what else is burned up in here. I can't see, but it's just not worth taking a risk, say, pulling out uh, you know, the power source board and then sticking it in another inverter, and it's bad, and then it burns up that inverter. It's not worth the risk because you don't know if anything else has been damaged, especially with that kind of surge. And you may not even see it on there. I've got uh, an SMB tester here, this, this tester right here. So I can actually, I can check resistors and so on by just clamping down on each side and then it'll tell me if they work or not. So if I suspect that there's a problem, I'll actually go through each and every one of these diodes, capacitors, resistors, and I'll see if there is a problem. If there's not, then typically you can salvage it. But something like this going all the way through like that, it may not be broke now, but it's on its way. All right, I think I've done enough talking. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know and take care.